need to, uh, sorry, we'll get some background noise if I don't do this. I'm gonna mute everybody else out. There we go. And then uh, you guys should be able to unmute yourselves uh, as co-host. So, all right, let's jump into this. So it really is simple, but it's very profound. And it really begins with science and it has everything to do with telomeres. That's the foundation of everything. As a human being, physically, uh, your physiology, everything, uh, you can trace it right back to the telomere, which is on the tips of the chromosomes here. And they protect your DNA. They actually hold them together at the ends. But what's happening is the body's under constant attack. It's gotten worse over the years. There's a lot more chemicals. There's a lot more stress. There's just a lot more uh, things that are attacking the human body, unlike ever before. And it's actually suppressing the body, keeping it from helping it, uh, enabling it to heal itself. And it's doing damage faster than it ever has. So if you look at the red tape here representing the telomere and the rope representing the chromosome, which they sit in the middle of every cell, the DNA is like the software that's running the cells, it's running the programs. And the programs are our skin, hair, eyes, organs, and bones. The shorter the telomere gets, the more DNA you've lost. These little nucleic bonds separate. And they've linked that to every symptom of aging and every degenerative disease. In fact, that's Nobel Prize winning research where most people don't even know they have a telomere, let alone that everything that has to do with our quality of life and our health is called a telomere. It really is the foundation of every, where everything starts to originate with the problems. And again, most people don't, uh, not only do they not know there's a telomere, that they don't know that there's a Nobel Prize around the research and that we've learned some things that could really empower them. That's why I love sharing this information. Now, Bill Andrews, uh, he's right here, he's a geneticist. I was mentored by Bill and uh, man, he had me at hello in 2009. I haven't stopped talking about telomeres ever since. And he knows that the body has an innate ability to heal itself. And so what he was able to do was unsuppress the chromosome, a gene that's in the chromosome that produces this enzyme. He did it in his lab with human skin cells. When he did, the body started healing itself on a telomere level. We see it in other areas. If you get burnt, you know, uh, if you get a sunburn, the body heals itself. If you get a cut, it heals itself. If you break a bone, it heals itself. Well, they just saw the telomere heal itself because of what Bill Andrews and his research team was able to do in his lab. Now, Harvard was able to do it with mice. They piggybacked off of Bill's research. He shares it freely. And uh, Dr. Ronald DePino headed up at Harvard Medical School. He was able to do what Bill did with the human skin cells. He did it with mice. And essentially what happened to the mice, let's say this is one of the mice right here, the mouse got younger. Why? Because all the software was restored through the healing process of the DNA and the telomere. That's why they gave it the Nobel Prize right after that. They saw the important role that telomeres play, starting with Bill Andrews and doing it with the human skin cells, and then Harvard doing it with mice, and that was living, breathing mice, which are mammals just like you and me. That was reported in ABC News. Really big deal, you guys. It has to do with quality of life. So Bill Andrews, in the meantime, while Harvard was working with the mice, Bill and his research team in over 10 years 